Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We got three stories for you today on recycling. First one, turning plastic ash into graphene. So when you recycle plastics, you come up with many different compounds, monomers, polymers, oils, and ash. 10 to 20% of it ends up as ash, and almost always it's useless. It's just thrown into landfills. And as a result of recyclers not being able to utilize the entire product, Plastic recycling is actually incredibly un unprofitable. So if they could find a way to use the ash as a value-added product, this could make recycling plastics more profitable, and thus more plastics will actually be recycled. So what is pyrolyzed ash? Uh, basically, when they pyrolyze something, they heat it up without destroying it completely. And so it's just burned plastics. And uh, if we they add it to food producing or food packaging, PVA is an alcohol that's used as a coating on uh, food packages. It increases its strength by 30% and improves the material's resistance to water permeability. So it prevents water from getting into the food that it's trying to store. And when it's added to concrete or Portland cement and concrete, it creates stronger concrete. They don't talk about specifically how much stronger. They might need to go get themselves one of those uh, hydraulic presses with the PSI meters. There's great YouTube videos on destroying things in those hydraulic presses. But do that and see exactly how much stronger this concrete is. Graphene is an amazing substance and can be used for many different things. If you can get it just from plastics, that's great. The way they do it is a strong jolt of energy flashes it into graphene, something they call joule heating. Well, that's quite an amazing feat of science. Just flash and then turns into graphene. It's almost like a magic trick, right? Next up, we're at the Farmer's Almanac, and they are working with Berkeley University to have a contest on how to come up with better a better way to recycle fishing line and uh, soft tackle, which are these rubber worms. If you've ever gone fishing, you might have used some of these. And you certainly would have used some of this monofilament fishing line out of plastic. Now the stuff can be somewhat strong and can have a few different uses other than fishing. It can be used as a deer fencing on your property. You don't want to use the colored stuff necessarily because it's great for deer. They don't see it, but they can feel a barrier as they walk slowly by. If they're running full speed, they can run right through it. But recycling has been a problem. Mostly getting it separated from contam contaminants. They've had these containers at uh, fishing docks and fishing areas around the country. People could put their fishing line and old soft tackle in it, but people put beer and pop cans in there and other trash. So they need to find a better way to separate the line from the contaminants or prevent the contaminants from getting in here in the first place. Maybe a different size or shape container or opening. One of the beauties of this container is it's so easy to build with common materials you can get at a hardware store. So they have a $15,000 prize, I believe. Yeah, $15,000 cash. So first prize, fifteen, dollars Second prize, ten, dollars Third prize, five, And the deadline is May 14th, 2021. I'm going to link to this article in the description so you can you know read more about the rules. I may talk to a few people and see if we can get something going, but you never know. Maybe you have an idea. Enter it in the contest. Best of luck to you. Last article, we're at American, well, actually, farmprogress.com, the American Agriculturalist. They're talking about finding a place for your litter using an app. So litter is the bedding used in industrial chicken farming operations. Now, you may not like industrial chicken farming operations, but they do need a place to recycle their litter. They talk about, I think it's 95% of all the litter is used or recycled into fertilizer crops. So this app, L-I-T-T-R, is used to connect the litter producers with farmers who could use it as fertilizer. It's a pretty good reminder of trying to use technology to connect the producer with the consumer. In this instance, it's a producer of fertilizer, or rather, a producer of chickens trying to get rid of a trash, an extra, you know, junk component of their operation. But it's actually a value add to a farmer that's trying to raise some grain. So, 
you know, one person's trash is another person's treasure. That's the old adage, right? Well, I'm going to link to these articles in the description if you'd like to read more about it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, leave a comment. Tell me why. Have a great day.